So if you're thirsty here, if you're thirsty here, if you're thirsty. Hi, my name is Cheryl, also known as Shazinga, and today I want to get my PC upgraded. So I'm here below the Dream Core office, hoping to get more information about the AMD Ryzen and Radeon. Because I've seen a lot of these YouTube videos talking about the Rage Mode, IPC uplift. A smart access memory and even the infinity cache and I have no idea what all these things are about. Like how is a gamer like me supposed to understand all this? So I'm hoping to get more information from Dream Core about why the AMD is different or even better. Let's go! Hi, so today I'm here with Eugene from Dream Core. Hi. Thanks so much for taking time off to like come and sorry I, I started. Okay, again, again, again. <laughs> There's been a lot of hype about the AMD Ryzen and AMD uh, Radeon. So mm. you can explain more to me about it. I guess there's a lot to explain, there really is a lot, right? AMD released new CPUs and graphics cards sometime last year. This was in October and this was in December, okay? So they are still relatively fresh technologies and they come with a whole bound of benefits and features that some people may not understand, right? I think the current consensus in the market is that AMD Ryzen is better, but they don't really know why. Mm -hmm. And Radeon just seems to be this like, fuzzy thing that's like, oh, you know, what's, uh, what is Radeon, right? So today, I think what we can do is, you're looking for a new PC? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we'll just PC. help you to understand what these new things are, okay. right? How they benefit you and, you know, whether you can make use of them. Yeah, so I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. They are talking about the new MD, of course. Yep. They throw around terms like Rage Mode, Smart Access Memory and like Infinity Cache. So oh. what are these things about? Yeah, man. Well, that, that's a lot to cover. That's a lot to oh, cover. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so why don't we start with a brief overview about what these things are, okay? Just for the, the people who don't know. Ryzen is AMD's branding for their CPUs, okay? The equivalent is Intel's core line of CPUs. So you may have heard about the Intel Core i5, i7. Mm -hmm. AMD Ryzen has an equivalent lineup. So you have AMD Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, Ryzen 9, right? This here we have today with us is the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. Okay. Okay. This is the top end Ryzen CPU. AMD also has a line of graphics cards called AMD Radeon, right? So in December they launched three cards: the 6800, 6800 XT, and 6900 XT. Yeah. So over here we have the RX 6800 XT. Mm. Okay. These two are based on new technologies. Okay. So the term is architectures. Okay. The thing that the technology that's underlying your CPU, okay? okay? So the Ryzen, they're based on the new Zen 3 architecture and Radeon is based on the new RDNA 2 architecture. So people keep talking about the new IPC uplift. Mm. Can you explain more about it? Can. IPC uplift is a term that gets thrown out a lot, mm, yes. right? Um, it applies to the AMD Ryzen CPUs, okay? So IPC stands for instructions per clock, okay? Instructions Basically, clock. Uh, okay. clock, yes, clock. You heard of the term clock speed? Clock speed, yes. Like clock speed. how much? How yes. fast the CPU is. How fast the CPU is. <laughs> That's right, how fast the CPU is. You can think about clock speed like a refresh rate, how many times a screen changes a picture per second. Mm -hmm. But clock speed is how many times a CPU performs an instruction or does something per second. Mm. So it's usually calculated in megahertz or gigahertz. To use an analogy, it's kind of like, you know, um, a clock is like a pill that you eat. A pill that I eat? A pill, okay. like a medicine like Panadol, mm. right? Increased IPC, increased instructions per clock, means that you have more medicine per pill. Ah, so the higher dosage, okay, right? Okay. So for the same amount of work, you are actually giving the CPU is actually doing more work, even though the gigahertz or the megahertz may remain the same. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. a higher PC. So it just makes the Ryzen CPU a bit better. What else has changed about the AMD Ryzen Zen three that makes it so much better? So in the past, Zen two had a specific architecture. Okay, mm. they called it a chiplet design. Okay, the core complex changed in Zen three. Okay. okay, I see lost face, <laughs> questions, core complex and all these things, right? Basically, all you need to know is that the CPU cores need to talk to one another mm -hmm. and they need to access some resources from one another. Um, the analogy here is we're in this room now okay. and there's some other guys in another room. So if you need to do work and talk to the other guys, you have to go out to the, through the door and talk mm -hmm. to them, right? Mm -hmm. And they have to come to and talk to us as well, right? The new Zen 3 architecture unifies the complex, meaning they have broken down the wall between the two rooms. Ah. So everybody now kind of shares the same room, talks to one another, uses the same resources, and basically there's less latency involved. It's just as a, a result. lot more efficient. Correct. Yeah. It's more efficient, yeah. Latency is the term we use for lag, right? So mm. we don't have to wait so long for things to happen because there is a lot of lower latency. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's a really good analogy, actually. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I spend my, all my time thinking about ways to explain these <laughs> things to people. <laughs> 
All right, so in that case, does this CPU consume more power? I can see where that impression might come about, right? Because, you know, more powerful things usually require more power, more power right? Yeah. You feed more stuff to it for it to do more stuff, right? But the cool thing about these CPUs, actually the graphics cards as well, mm. is that they have an increased power efficiency. For every watt you feed to these components, mm -hmm. right, they produce more work, mm -hmm. right? So if you recall back physics back in the day, okay. right, it is for every watt, you know, there's an efficiency curve, yes. right? You, cons you consume <laughs> less power for the same amount of work done, or you produce more work done for the same amount of power. Mm. Okay. For those of you who have uh, maybe not been through sec, you know, O-level physics yet, the analogy here is this. If you have one dollar today, mm -hmm. you can go to the market and buy three fish balls. Okay, three fish balls. Three fish balls. But if, you have, if your dollar is more efficient, your one dollar now go to the market can buy five fish balls. So with the same amount of stuff, you can buy more things. Nice. That's, yeah, that's what this does. Like. You do more work with the same amount of power. Okay. Okay, so they're more power efficient, don't really consume a lot more power. That's pretty good. La. So that's it's, great. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a technological improvement. Yeah. Okay, you mentioned about the AMD GPUs. So mm. how is the AMD Radeon GPUs really improved? So they're also based on a new architecture called mm. RDNA2, right? For the most, for the general public, you will know this as a big Navi. That's a, just the code name, la, right? One key way they've improved, I mean, besides the increased efficiency that, you know, also applies to the CPUs, mm -hmm. is um, this thing called infinity cache. So memory is a term that is widely thrown around. You know, to memory to some of you may mean like how many get terabytes your hard drive has, mm -hmm. right? But memory actually is just a term for, generally speaking, your RAM. Mm -hmm. Okay, so temporary storage. And actually in architecture, there are many kinds of temporary storage. Some are closer to the core, and those are called caches. Mm. Okay? So the closer to the core you are, the faster you access the memory. So Infinity Cache is a larger cache on the AMD GPUs. Okay? Now, <coughs> a core needs stuff in order to do work. Mm -hmm. right? And it draws that stuff from the cache. That's a direct link. Right? It's the, the storage of data. La. Right. You can think about it as um, you needing water to survive. So if you're thirsty here, sorry, I mean if you're <laughs> if you need to drink if you need to drink water like everybody else does, okay? Yes, and the we office all we all do, okay? We all do. The wa the office only has a water dispenser for you. Okay. okay. So if you need water, you need a cup. Mm. Right? So in other words, the cup is the cash. Okay. Just like this cup here, thank you. The cup is your cash, right? The larger your cup, the more water you can put in at one time to drink. Okay. Right? So a larger cup means that you don't need to go to the water cooler so many times to refill uh, the water to so drink. So this like. has a larger cup. Exactly. Basically. This is a bigger cup size. <laughs> <laughs> to be specific. I'm sorry. <laughs> 128 megabytes of L3 cache on the new Big Navi graphics cards. Mm. Usually when people say bigger cup size, they don't mean... It's okay. Moving on. It's a larger cup. <laughs> I'm sorry. So about this rage mode, right? When do I use this rage mode and why? Can. Okay. I mean, if you're the Hulk, then rage mode comes quite naturally to oh, you. Oh, I rage a lot. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to check out more, check out her channel. I'm sure she has gaming videos there where she rages at people all the time. Okay? Yes. But rage mode here, today we're talking about AMD's new presets on their graphics cards. Okay? Uh, you use Lightroom quite a fair bit, right? Mm, Any Lightroom. photos? So, uh, you use presets in Lightroom as well. Yeah, presets. Right, a preset, once you click on it, all the settings are changed for you automatically. Oh. Right? So they have that for this. Yes, exactly. Traditionally, if you wanted to overclock your graphics card, make it faster, mm -hmm. right, you would have to go and tweak it manually, you know, how much power you give it, what's the target gross power, all sorts of funny things, right? So, Rage Mode is just a one-click overclock, right? It's one of three presets found in the new um, Big Navi graphics cards, okay. right? It makes it easy for you to overclock the graphics card without fiddling with all the little stuff. Okay, so yeah. when do you use this? Uh, well, you use it when you really want the most juice out of your card. Okay. Okay, so you click on it, it increases the total power supply to the card, it may increase the fan speeds, it may increase you know, the noise of the graphics, the graphics card makes because of the fan, okay. um, but your card will perform faster. Do you have any examples, like specific examples, like when, like do you run when you run like certain games, when you do like? Mm, it depends on how it depends on the user's comfort level. Okay. So for me, for example, I will never use Rage Mode because you know the stock settings are pretty fine. Mm -hmm. But you know, for someone who wants to squeeze every last juice, you know, drip of performance out of their graphics card, okay. then just turn on Rage Mode, right? The graphics card takes care of most of the settings. All you need to do is click the button and you get an improvement in performance. So if you're playing CSGO or Valorant and you know you just want a bit more performance, you want to see the FPS number go up, <laughs> use Rage Mode. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay, so if I want to buy an AMD CPU, do I mm. have to buy an AMD graphics card? That's a good question. Mm. If you buy an AMD CPU, you can pair it with any graphics card available today. An NVIDIA okay. graphics card and AMD an AMD graphics card all will work. Lah. If you buy an AMD graphics card, you can use an AMD CPU or an Intel CPU. doesn't matter. The point that we're trying to make with this new uh, smart access memory, mm. right, is that if you use an AMD CPU and an AMD graphics card, they synergize. Okay. Okay, they synergize, meaning that they will perform better when work to when together. So they like amp each other up. Uh, they basically. amp each other up, correct. Okay. For those of you who are interested, the technology behind this is called smart access memory. Okay, how it works is that the CPU now is able to access all the VRAM on the graphics card. But you do need an AMD CPU and an AMD graphics card. Most of you have AMD CPUs anyway, right? So the idea is that pick an AMD graphics card, they're not actually they don't perform worse. In fact, they're quite on par with the NVIDIA if their NVIDIA counterparts. Right? So for any misconceptions that you have, I encourage you to try an AMD graphics card. Um, smart access memory will help you get that little bit of juice, that little bit of extra juice uh, needed for your gaming. So this is arguably the coolest feature because in the past, no such synergies existed. Okay. You know, people just picked the best graphics card they wanted and then the best CPU they wanted. Mm, but in this case, yeah. a synergy helps you to, you know, squeeze the performance, squeeze a bit more performance out of your card. Right? For those of you who, have, uh, who are still lost and have no idea what any of this is about, the analogy here will likely help you, okay? okay? I hope this helps you. It's a hard analogy to explain. All right, bring it on. Okay, level one analogy, simple one. If you use an iPhone and you use a MacBook, mm -hmm. then they synergize. Yeah. Like you can use AirDrop and stuff, mm. right? If you use an iPhone and a Windows laptop, it's not so easy, mm. right? So Mac Mac, win. ecosystem. The graphics card is really busy all the time. It's pushing frames out, you know, and this is the bottleneck for most, uh, for most games. Mm. The bottleneck means it, it's the one that if you give it more, headway, it will perform better. So the CPU, on the other hand, is doing hard work, but not as hard as the graphics card. Yep. Right? Having smart access memory means that this guy can access the memory on this guy and allow it to do some of this guy's work. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, so this is, uh, the, the technical term on. is increased parallelization. Increased parallelization. Increased parallelization, correct. Okay. Yeah. This is the first time I hear about this, so it's like pretty interesting. It is, it is, it yeah. is. It makes this a combination of these two things a bit more appealing, mm. right? Yeah. So I was scrolling through the Dream Core website. Do any of the Dream builds have these included? Good question. Thank you. For those of the for those of you who don't know, the Dream Core website is www.dreamcore.com.sg. We'll link we'll leave a link to that in the description below. Yeah. Um, but yes, we do, we do. So I believe we have two or three Dream builds mm -hmm. that have both the Radeon. Um, graphics cards as well as the Ryzen CPUs. Okay. okay, you'll find them at the bottom of the page. They're called the Red Dream Builds. The cool thing about these Dream Builds is that if they're stock available and you buy it before 4 p.m., you'll get it in, on the same day actually. Oh wow! Yeah. Same day delivery. Correct. So today is like now it's about three o'clock. If you go home, you run home. You order them right now. You right order right now. Right now. I can send it to you before okay, 10 o'clock. Okay. Now. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Or you know you could just uh, since we're here I, you could uh, take I, one home uh, later lah. Also can lah. Cause it's yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, put it, yeah, put it. Yeah. So thank you, Eugene, for explaining so much about the AMD. You're very welcome. Rising. You're very welcome. Thank you. Always happy to have you here. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.